welcome to another episode in today's story series we will be seeing about seven jars of gold many of you might have already heard this story this is about a barber to a king's barber to cut that hair and did the shaving for the king and he was uh, having a public salon also catering to the vip so he was a little bit comfortable he earned more than other barbers he had a little family which he took care of he was not rich but at least he had enough food and a comfortable life not big sale so one day this uh, barber was uh, walking along the forest and uh, he came across the tree he wanted to take a rest and uh, he was leaning against the tree sitting under the tree and uh, suddenly he heard a voice do you want seven pots of gold seven jars of gold he was taken aback he was surprised to hear the voice but the voice was repeating do you want the seven jars of gold he was curious he was tempted somebody just giving free seven jars of gold what is the harm in accepting that he said yes let me have it then the wife said go home you will find the seven jars he ran back home so fast in his house he found the seven jars of gold everybody was looking into it his family he said yes we have got seven jars of gold we are rich let us keep it a secret but his happiness was also short lived the the seventh jar was not full it was a little bit less than the full portion so his desire was there to full make it full the seventh jar also all the six jars were full and the seventh jar little bit space was there it was three fourths so he wanted to get more gold and fill it up so that we can have seven full jars of gold so he began to save money and put make it into gold coin and put it into the jar he began to starve he began to suffer and uh, the king looked at him one day he was noticing this you seem to be in little trouble what is the problem the barber replied no now my family is expanding my children are growing demands are increasing you have to increase my salary the the king doubled the salary it was not much so he doubled the salary of the barber but again the barber saved most of it made it in the gold coins and put it into the jar he sold all his properties he had a small piece of land and some property leaving just his house which, which is a mud house leaving that rest of the properties he sold made it into gold coin 
and put it into the jar. The jar never became full. He was again suffering. This was going on for some time. And the king noticed this. He was watching this person. Yes, he was in close contact, shaving him, meeting him every day, cutting his hair occasionally. So the king had to spend some time with him, with the Baba, and in close quarters. So he was noticing it. He was keeping quiet. But one day he asked, What happened to you? When I gave you half the salary, you were much more happy. And now you are in trouble. It seems more trouble. You are not happy. I have increased your salary. He seemed to look like the person who has got seven jars of gold. And the barber was shocked. He said, how do you come to know? Did somebody tell you the secret? No, no. I know this. Have you not heard of this Eksha? Eksha means a ghost. It is a ghost. It offers you seven jars of gold. And if it, it was offered to me also. But I refuse. I asked one question. Can I spend that seven jars of gold? And the ghost disappeared. The Eksha disappeared. Have you tried to spend even a single piece of gold from that? No. You would not have. Try to do that, it will disappear. You can't spend that money. Whereas you are putting all your hard-earned money into it. It goes nowhere. It will never become full. Because it is your desire. And it is being used by the ghost. Immediately go home and return the seven jars to the yaksha, to the ghost. Otherwise, you will die of starvation. You will be troubled. Your mind will be troubled. You will not be in peace. The barber immediately rushed. After finishing his duties with the king, immediately rushed back to the home. He prayed to the shah, told the shah, take back seven jars. I don't want it. The minute he told, the seven jars disappeared. There was nothing left. Along with the jars, for some time, whatever he has put in there, the gold coin, selling his property, saving the money out of his salary, most of it, all those gold coins disappeared. He was left with just the mud house which thatched the roof. Rest of the things, all his savings are gone. But he was happy. He said, at least I am saved now. So that is what happens with the desire. That is the moral of the story. Desires can never be fulfilled. One desire gives rise to another. It is never complete. You will never happy in achieving a desire. Maybe some people may be happy for a, a short period. Others may not even be happy for a short period. But the next desire comes. You move on to it. You will never feel satisfied. Never feel fulfilled. So understand that. You are not going to be complete with desire. It will not make you complete. That is a sensation short-lived. The process of getting it is pleasurable. Once you get it, it means nothing, if not more painful. Then you go on to the next one, trying to get it. That is what desire is, like the seven jars of gold. So with us, we will end this episode. Stay with me for another episode. Subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thank you.